तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई going to do another video further refuting this narrative that Hinduism is religion of peace and pluralism and also this example here further shows that Hinduism is every bit as violent, barbaric, bloodthirsty and warmongering as Islam and their attitude towards non-Hindus is the same attitude Muslims have Muslims over in Pakistan would have towards non-Muslims so uh, in this particular uh, case there, you have an instance of, of Hindus who basically killed a Christian man for refusing to perform a Hindu ritual now, this is actually perfectly in line with what the Vedas say. If you read uh, Rig Veda, I think it's 9, 13, 9, it literally talks about, you know, destroying the infidels who refuse to offer worship. That's what the, the text there says. So, them killing this Christian man for not performing a Hindu ritual is just them following their Hindu text of destroying the infidels who refuse to offer worship. Plain and simple. The Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Hindus. Just like the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just being true to their Islamic texts. And here are just, I'm going to quickly read three scriptures that perfectly describe these, you know, br uh, bloodthirsty Hindu brutes. Uh, Psalms 2 verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Good question there. And the Hindus definitely uh, are just describing that verse there. Psalms 46 verse 6. Okay, so apparently my computer had to do some weird update thing or whatever, so... Hence why it was lagging. I had to cut the uh, recording. But anyway, as I was saying, I was going to read Psalms 46, verse number 6. This is what the text says. Uh, and again, describing what the, these Hindus are about to read in this article. But it says, uh, Psalms 46, verse 6, The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. Yeah, we see that thing there, the heathen raged. Okay, now finally, Acts chapter 4, verse 25. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? Yeah, that's the Hindus right there, the heathen raging. So, in this article right here, this is on Hidutva Watch, uh, basically says, uh, Family suspected of killing Christian father for refusing to perform Hindu ritual. A Christian post. And like we said, we, we read that verse in uh, Rig Veda 9, 13, 9, where it talks about destroying those who refuse to offer worship. So this, this right here is perfectly in line with the Hindus, Hindu scriptures there, which are every bit as, you know, barbaric and violent as Islam. So it says here in this article on Hindutva Watch, Christians in Eastern India suspect that church members, Hindu family killed him last month for refusing to renounce his faith, sources said. In West Bengal states, Gobindupur, pronouncing that right, village in Jaragram district, Hindu relatives of Mal... Dab, again, I'm probably not saying some of these names, right? Had threatened to burn him to death uh, and feared his faith, jeopardized his daughter's impending marriage, the sources said. Now, notice that too, burn him to death. There's several uh, times in the Vedas, the Rig Vedas, where it talks about burning those who don't, you know, who don't perform rituals, burning those who, you know, don't uh, adhere to the Vedas. So right there, they're just following their Hindu texts. But it says, uh, last saw the 46 year old on august 7th when his wife and adult son disrupted or disrupted the start of the church service and threatened him said ashinesh probably not saying that right either lay leader in charge of the church of north india congregation in the village uh gorai's wife was carrying a bottle of gasoline with his son and his son was carrying a wooden baton he said in a scuffle outside the church building gorai's wife and son threatened to burn him alive 
Hansada said, Gauri's wife and son uh, pressured him to perform Hindu marriage rituals at his daughter's impending wedding, where, according to custom, the father of the bride would be, would be required to worship sacred fire, said the pastor in charge of the church, the Reverend uh, Sindhu, again, I'm probably not saying some of these Indian names, right? Uh, sorry. He says that he refused to involve himself in the Hindu pra worship practices that contradicted his Christian faith. Sorry. And it says, um, told the Morning Star News. Notification there. It says Gauri's family had argued that his refusal to perform the Hindu rituals would raise doubts about the family that could lead to, into the breaking off of his daughter's engagement, said a close friend of Gorai who requested anonymity. Again, not going to read anything on a computer, so just bear with me. Uh, when his wife and son disrupted at the start of the August 7th church service, Hansada intervened, and Gorai's wife and son took him home, Hansada said. Again, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing some of these Hindu names, right? These in, with Indian names, right? But we see right there, the Hindu text, you know, destroying those, burning those who don't, you know, perform the rituals, who don't adhere to the Vedas. Right there, they're just being true to their, their uh, violent, you know, Islamic-like Hindu texts. Because, again, it's no different than Islam. But it says here, unpleasantness was created due to the scuffle, so we did not have a church service that Sunday, he said. Uh, when he learned of the incident, Pastor Sorin had advised Hansana to file a police complaint about Gorari's family carrying gasoline and scuffling with him outside the church building. He filed a complaint at the Rag Aramgara outpost, which falls under the Laogara police station. An officer at the Ramgara outpost said he had informed Sen Sen Saraga again, again, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing these names, right? Uh, basically at the police station about the incident and sent a volunteer to check on the, on the church the next Sunday, August 14th. And he says, you know, the, the Mandara, uh, Mandahab, Gauri's house did not fall uh, fall under under my jurisdiction, so I did not take I did not take any action once he had gone home. An officer told Morning Star News, the in charge the in charge at the Saranga uh, Thana police station told Morning Star News that he was on leave during that period and had no knowledge of a death in the area. Uh, Pastor Sorin said no formal complaint was registered at the Saranga Thana police station. And he gives a thing right there about there's no formal complaint. But basically, what we see there is, again, the Hindus acting out the violent, you know, demonic nature of their Hindu text, which is every bit as violent and bloodthirsty and barbaric as what the Muslim texts say in the Quran and Hadith about striking terror into the hearts of the unbelievers, like in uh, Surah 8.12 or the Hadith where, where Muhammad says, you know, I've been made victorious with terrorism. Yeah, because Hinduism, you know, like I said, you know, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Hindus. They're just following their Hindu text, just as the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims, you know, just two sides of the same terroristic Luciferian coin. So stuff like this proves that right here. And like the scriptures say in Psalms 2, 1, Psalm 46, verse 6, and Acts 4, 25, why did the heathen rage? Plain and simple, well, because they're violent, bloodthirsty texts tell them to. So anyway, don't be deceived by anyone who tries to say that Hinduism is a peaceful religion or that kind of stuff. No, it's every bit as, as you know, murderous as Islam. So don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with all the brethren. Goodbye.